Hi everybody, this is Jerry. Um, wanting to do a quick video on declination of the moon and especially Saturn um, as they conjunct and oppose one another. But it's also about clusters and this um, idea was first um, uh, shown to us in a video by Yuri Shramenko. Um, wonderful, brilliant <laughs> Yuri, who was a member of the uh, Timing Solution community um, and uh, eventually uh, just sort of, uh, I guess, disappeared or stopped trading or left uh, being public. Uh, so we miss him terribly. But um, I was reviewing one of his very old videos from 2011 and was reminded of this powerful um, event that happens um, constantly with the euro. So what I've got up here is a daily chart of euro USD um, and what worked well in 2011 is still going strong in 2025 as far as I can tell. <clears throat> so what we're looking at is a um, on the horizontal ephemeris which you get to by using tools horizontal ephemeris and the default does not have the transit moon in it so you want to go into edit model and add the transit transit moon and then assign a color and a thickness at this point. I'm going to cancel this because I've already done it and then when you click OK or calculate then it ends up looking like this. <clears throat> So um, declination is um, what we see above the horizon and below the horizon. Um, and going from uh, crossing the horizon line to a peak, back down, and then back up is one full moon cycle of 27 days. <clears throat> so what Yuri was telling us and still continues to work out is um, when we see a cluster of this transiting moon um, crossing, um, especially Saturn, uh, he was a little surprised and I've since really confirmed it. So I've highlighted Saturn here with a brighter blue color and this moon is in a darker a black that's thicker also. Okay. So right here, uh, let's take a look. We'll go from March all the way through the present. Um, so this is around the equinox, so March 27th. Um, and what we have is a cluster of, of conjunctions. Um, and we've got the moon crossing Venus and the sun. And this happens to be Mercury. Um, Uranus and Saturn all coming together at this one kind of time. And we were looking at a downturn here for the prior two weeks price action. So this is a good time for a reversal when we see this. And sure enough, price continued on up for, uh, you know, 80, 80, 800 pips, I think. Anyway, I'm not going to count pips right now. <clears throat> so uh, we can just go through this and see where this happens to occur. Um, and I'm kind of looking mostly around the the moon Saturn cross. Um, here's a point here. Um, and it's also a reminder that a change in trend can be um, from a down to an up or an up to a down could also be an up to a sideways or a sideways to an up or a sideways to a down or a down to a sideways. So there are lots of combinations or trend changing. It's not just up and down. Um, and this particular one now on uh, April 11th looks like it set off a nice sideways consolidation period and um, after a strong uptrend. Okay, so let's keep moving along here. Um, this one, 
uh, yeah, I would say actually it's it's setting off this downtrend here. And we have one, two, three, four, five uh, connections here, crossovers, conjunctions, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> and moving along again, let's take a look at this one. And oh yeah, so here is the tip off. We've got these three and it's a weekend. And then during the week, we've got also the Sun and uh, Mars and Uranus doing a little dance. So, but starting with this, I'm looking for a change in trend here. And sure enough, trend is moving upward. Okay. Um, here's another possible change, and we have this short dip, nothing big. So it's not perfect. It's not 100% major changes. It's, it's the moon. So it's um, week to week, things are happening. Notice down at the bottom here, I put up the moon position. So um, it moves through each sign of the zodiac in about two days or so. So that might be a clue to some things, but not sure yet. All right. Um, so let me just keep moving along here. One thing that um, uh, I return to this because um, on my uh, Forex factory group here, um, I posted a weekly outlook and timing solution for the upcoming week and for the Euro. Um, this is on um, planetary, uh, what is the name of this group? Planetary Cycles Training, Euro, Euro USD. And it's a, a nice group of folks here that are interested in the subject. And after each week has gone by, I always follow up with, well, how did we do with the prediction? Um, and I've been collecting these week to week, every single week for the last six, seven years, um, which I, I have in a um, web page that you can see if you want to check that out at jnevins.com. And I have it, this is my teaching website, so I have the link down here on the lower right, kind of very, very uh, quietly there. Um, uh, just not to introduce, not to uh, sort of interfere with my teaching duties and all that. But yeah, going back nine years to 2016, every single uh, week, I have a date of the prediction with a post number and a hot link to it and a day of the recap and how many pips were gained or lost trying to be as honest about it as possible and um, basically that could be interesting if you want to learn more about how I work and what kinds of things I'm looking for this was a random click but total pips for the year 5,200 almost 43 winning weeks, 8 losing weeks, with a 85% winning percentage week to week. So, um, timing solution is incredible, and um, I couldn't have any anywhere near that kind of <laughs> predictive capability without it. Um, so, let's see, back to this. So, um, but in the latest week, uh, we ended up having a down week when I was predicting an up week. And so turning to this uh, idea again, looks what we've got here. We've got, again, moon crossing Saturn, just entering Libra. We've got a, a cluster of, here we used to say we need a three. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, cluster of six. So that's ripe for a reversal, and we were in a nice uptrend. So time for a downtrend. So I should have then reversed the prediction. 
hold on a second, right here. Uh, where am I? June, da, 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 da. right. So and I'm, I've been using Moon, 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 or Moon Sun um, lately. Um, so I'm very keyed into the Moon these days, and um, I smoothed it way out with a 500% smooth orb, and I post my settings. Um, and I should have clicked the invert button right here um, if I had taken the time to go and look at this stuff. So that's it. Take care and see you on the, the forum. And right, take care.